I have always said I wanted to have my day in court and see this man. Um, obviously that was taken away when he was, um, he never came to court because uh, he was too poorly. So he did his interviews through video link. So on Monday, I'll have my day. Are you going to look him in the eye? Yeah. That, that will feel good, won't it? Satisfied for you? Yeah. Yeah. And will that be a day that a door closes behind you and you can start to, to move on? Or is there still a lot of work to do? In a way, one door will close, yes. But good. in another, I think, will open. Yes. So I can carry on with my life. You get, obviously, I can see <laughs> tears pricking up in your eyes as you think about what's going to happen on Monday. Yeah. In a way, you know, it reminded me of the Jimmy Savile case. He died before he had, you mm. know, before his victims or the vill were able to really see him suffer. Um, for you and all the victims, some of whom have come out, and there are still many others who are bringing up complaints, the blame obviously is his. It was him who did all this. He talked about it so callously in the clips we've heard about how he groomed. He talked about it as though I would talk about making a cup of tea. Mm. It meant nothing to him, no. what he did to you. Um, but is there a wider fault about the system that was around then protecting young boys? My, my, I was just saying to you before we came in, my son's just started football on a Saturday morning. He's five years old. I thought that in three years' time, the same age that you, something could happen like that. I mean, now it would make yeah. me shattered. I think then, I don't think there was anything in place, but I know now that there are things in place. Um, when I was eight years old, we didn't know where to turn to. We wouldn't, and I don't think we would have done anyway. Uh, we all have our dreams uh, of becoming professional footballers and I didn't want, I don't, I'm sure I'm speaking for everyone, we didn't want that, that dream to be shattered. Well, it meant that you were abused for years. Who was the first person you told about it? I told my partner um, only last year. Um, so you kept it to yourself all that time? Yeah. How difficult was that? Was it, was it easier to keep it a secret or, or did you struggle to keep it inside? I didn't struggle. At times when we talked about football and certain things would crop up, um, but I sort of locked it away. Yes. Um, Started off at eight, and obviously you have your dreams. Um, I walked away from football at 14, 15. Luckily, I was quite good at golf, uh, and that was my get-out clause. Did you walk away because of him? Yeah. If, if, he, if he hadn't been the monster that he was, if he'd been a bona fide good coach, do you think you would have made it in football? Who knows? I don't know. I'd like to think I had a good chance, because, yeah. you know, speaking to everyone that I used to play with, yeah, I was quite good. And what made you decide a year ago to unburden yourself to your partner? Um, my partner saw um, Andy Woodward on, uh, on the Victoria Derbyshire show um, and I watched that one of the other for victims. One, of the other victims. Yeah. one of the other victims and as soon as I saw his face I knew what that was all about. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to watch anything and I thought that's time I have to help. And what, what was your partner's reaction because this would have come as a thunderbolt? Yes, yeah, she, she didn't know anything. Um, I went home that night um, because we didn't live together, uh, and I, I told her then. And what was her reaction? I don't think she was shocked. I think she saw, I think she saw something in my face yeah. and just uh, alerted her. And yes. Um, I mean, it's remarkable to come out and talk about it. And I know you've been talking about this. Isn't you know the first time? I just want to you know, does it help you to be here? You know. We're not talking about what, you know, we, we've made clear we're not going to talk about actually the, what, it's in your mind, it's yeah. not for us to go over. It's about the future now and about, but is to, has talking about it, A, it's helped parents like me, I have to tell you, big thank you. Mm. You know, you make us all aware, make us all more alert. But does it help you to talk about it now more and more? Yeah, it does help me. It helps me a lot. Um, I've never had any counselling. I've not got to that stage as yet. I know a lot of the lads have, um, but yeah. Unloading, it does help. So, yeah, I don't mind talking about it. I've got no shame yeah. whatsoever. And you were not I was beaten by him. No. You will look him in the eye on Monday. He's ruined my childhood. Uh, he's ruined my dreams, but he won't ruin my life. And what kind of sentence would you like to see passed on Monday? What would, what would make you feel justice had been properly done? Life imprisonment. Life. Be, yeah. And I life couldn't agree more with you.